Maurizio Pochettino needs to go. Pochettino is not good enough to be the manager at Chelsea Football Club. He's just not. He's just not good enough. And this run has got me thinking that he isn't actually all that good of a manager. Outside of a really good spell at Tottenham Hotspur and looking decent at Southampton, he hasn't really proven all that much. And after spending £1 billion in the last year, £434.5 million of which was under Pochettino, Chelsea currently sits 11th in the Premier League table with just 31 points currently having conceded more goals than scored in the Premier League. He needs to go. And I know this sounds weird coming off a really good display beating Aston Villa 3-1 but I'll be explaining why I think he needs to go in today's video. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Back of the Net here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already and let's get into it. Now when Pochettino was the manager at Spurs as an Arsenal fan, I can say this wholeheartedly, I feared him and his Spurs team. I did. They were young, in a free-flowing and played with a fearlessness that no other team in the league at the time had. And I remember hearing the news one day when Spurs sacked Pochettino. I mean, I was shocked. They weren't that great at the time, but they weren't bad enough to sack someone who has done so much for your club. But regardless, as an Arsenal fan, I cheered. I was happy and I thought this was finally the end of Maurizio Pochettino, at least for Spurs. And I was happy. And when Poch moved to PS3, I thought he could be really good for them. And I thought he'd be good enough to get in their first Champions League. After all, I mean, at the time, he was seen as one of the best managers in world football. I mean, he dragged the disappointment of a club that was Tottenham Hotspur. He dragged them to a Champions League final and made them not only entertaining to watch but made them a very competitive team that always seemed in striking distance of a trophy or two so i thought he would smash it at psg but he flopped he completely flopped there he had no control of the dressing room egos of the players were as big as ever and it felt like Postino was kind of a side character at psg and not the main man, not the manager. But regardless, when he got hired by Chelsea this summer, I must admit, I kind of liked the move. I didn't love the move, purely because of the PSG spell really made me question Poch as a manager, but I still liked the appointment. I thought he could help develop the young players like he did so well at Spurs. I thought he could help rebuild and reinstall the winning culture that I've grown up to know Chelsea to have. I don't know, I thought it was a decent move by the Chelsea board. But now eight months into the appointments, it's really looking bleak. Again, I know this sounds weird coming off Chelsea's really good performance against Aston Villa last night, but I had this video in mind and I, I think it all still rings true. It's looking bleak for Chelsea. Now before I go into all the bad that Poch has done, let me give him some props. The positives of his appointment. Again, beating Aston Villa last night, but also he got Chelsea to the EFL Cup final. That's pretty much where it ends. That's pretty much the only positives I can really see out of this. Outside of getting Chelsea to the EFL Cup final after surviving a scare from Middlesbrough, by the way, Chelsea have been a disaster class. Spending £1 billion, half of which was spent under Pochettino and they find themselves 11th in the Premier League. It's disgraceful. They haven't got an identity. Poch clearly doesn't know his best team. They give up far too many chances. They miss countless amount of chances. Poch hasn't built a winning team and I'm not seeing any improvements on last year Chelsea. The only improvements I can see is that Chelsea actually perform and play well in cup competitions. But is that all Chelsea are going to be a cup team? I've never known Chelsea to really care all that much about cups. I've always known them to be competing for the top four, competing for the Premier League, and maybe winning a cup or two on the side. And I don't think him having good cup runs in either the EFL Cup or the FA Cup really negates the fact that Poch has been a disaster at Chelsea so far. He has. And now, while well, yes, I'm going to say this because I actually still kind of rate Poch. Poch isn't 100% at fault for how Chelsea have been. He isn't. I mean, he isn't the one missing all those chances. He isn't the one throwing money at the team like it's football manager. But as we know, in football, it's always the manager's responsibility to ensure that his team is a winner team. Whether you agree with it or not, the manager is always going to be on the chopping block when a team is struggling. Pochettino has struggled to develop young players other than really Cole Palmer, but I've always rated Cole Palmer for Man City, and I think the only reason Cole Palmer is actually performing well is purely because he's getting minutes rather than Poch developing him. Poch has also played tons of players out of position. Yes, due to injury, I hear that, but also because you feel like he was trying to do too much. Like, we could all see, as good as a centre-back Cole Wall is, he is not a left-back. But Poch persisted and kept playing him at left back. I don't know why. And again, I know Chelsea has had their injuries, but so has every other team in world football. 
Injuries for me are never an excuse. Never, never, never. Pochettino has struggled to bring this team together and despite Chelsea performing really well on some nights and surprisingly good against quote-unquote big teams, they just haven't been all that good. It's as simple as that. And to me at least, Pochettino has run his race and needs to be sacked from Chelsea. I know a lot of Chelsea fans are saying that sacking Pochettino is not going to help because then there's no stability in the club and I hear that. But to me, I just don't think Pochettino is the right guy for the right moments. But I've been saying all this and I'm going to explain to you what I think Chelsea should do. I don't think they should sack Pochettino right now. I think in the summer, he's got to go. He has to go in the summer and I think you have to get a coach that has proven to be able to develop younger players but also keep the team somewhat competitive. I think, hey, if you can go get Xabi Alonso who should be available in the summer, that would be an awesome hire. I know Liverpool will be competing for him but if you could get him, that would be an awesome hire. He's proven to develop young players like Florian Wirtz but also keep the team competitive. I mean, they're undefeated right now in the Bundesliga, so I would love that hire for Chelsea, but I don't think Pochettino is the right man. And even though he has a track record of developing younger players, Poch just doesn't seem to have that little bit to take his team to the next level. I don't know, maybe I'm looking into this. Maybe I'm reactionary of Chelsea's recent games, but I just don't think Poch is the man for Chelsea. Simple as that. And no, I'm not contradicting myself by saying that Chelsea should wait until the summer because the only reason I'm thinking that is because sacking Pochettino right now is only going to cause instability and it's going to force Chelsea into a rush higher rather than looking and planning for a manager. And also giving Poch till the summer maybe gives him some time to save Chelsea or something. I mean, I don't know. And also one more thing. No, I don't think Jose Mourinho should be hired for Chelsea. Absolutely not. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Pochettino situation. Should Chelsea look to sack him? If so, when? Or should they look to keep with him, build with him, and build a winning team? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.